Well, tonight we know more about what led up to a 15 year old boy's shooting in Colleen earlier this week. Yeah, he remains in the hospital fighting for his life, but the shooting began with an argument between two women. Curtis Quillen is here to break down the arrest affidavits that were released in the case today. Hi, Curtis. Well, good evening, guys. According to the arrest affidavits we obtained today, after the argument, a car was leaving when it was hit with a rock. After a while, people returned to the house and shot at the home, hitting the boy in the head, sending him to the hospital, where he remains tonight. It's quiet in this Colleen neighborhood on a Sunday Friday afternoon, but a few days ago, that wasn't the case. Arrest affidavits, which Channel 6 obtained Friday, outlined the events, which led to a 15-year-old boy being shot in the head. They had such a ball going on down there, so I just stayed out here about two minutes, and I decided I better get back in the house. According to the affidavit, police were called to the 3200 block of Longview Drive in Colleen around 1140 Sunday night because of an argument between two women. As a vehicle was leaving, the affidavit says a rock hit the vehicle and broke the back window. Later, some of the people involved in the earlier altercation returned to the house firing a shotgun and revolvers toward the house, which had multiple people inside, both children and adults. The boy who was hit, the affidavit states, was sitting on the couch watching TV. Three people have been arrested in connection to the shooting. 18-year-old Preston Devin Harrington was arrested for deadly conduct, discharging a firearm at a habitation after police say he confessed going to the house and firing a shotgun into the house. Harrington was on bond for burglary of a habitation at the time. Dante Maurice Hervey was arrested for aggravated assault causing serious bodily injury and Donna DeShaley Hervey was arrested for delivery of a controlled substance between 4 and 200 grams. That's after police say they served a search warrant in relation to the case. At last check, the boy remains in the hospital tonight with life-threatening injuries. Guys. All right. Thank you so much, Curtis.